Hey guys, AB here from B&H, and if you know anything about Earthworks microphones, then you know they have a stellar reputation amongst pros for having a natural, true-to-life sound. Basically, whatever you hear with your ears sounds the same when you record it with an Earthworks microphone. And for a company that's also known for making high-end precision and test microphones, it's exciting to see their latest vocal mic offerings. I'm talking about the Icon USB vocal mic and the Icon Pro XLR professional live streaming microphone. Starting with their Icon, you get a studio quality USB microphone that looks and sounds fantastic. Physically, it's like a stainless steel monolith. Simple lines and built like a tank. Sonically, the Icon has a natural sound, which I think, at least with my voice, uh, maintains a nice balance between the lower and upper frequencies. And the voice is, you know, very present and immediate. One of the reasons for this is the extremely quick rise time, which basically measures how fast the capsule detects the transient. The Icon's rise time is 14 microseconds, and the Icon Pro, which we'll get to later, has an even faster rise time of 11.67 microseconds, giving both mics the ability to transmit that audio instantly to your ears with a very realistic sound. The Icon does have an integrated pop filter, but like a lot of mics, you're going to get different sonic responses depending on how close you are to the capsule. In my testing, I've found that if you're six inches or farther away, you're not going to have to deal with too many plosives if you are talking at a regular level. And for anyone who wants to get really close to the mic for a more upfront and uh, fuller, more personal sound, I would definitely recommend using a pop filter like I am now to tame those plosives. In terms of other useful physical features, there is a built-in headphone jack for real-time monitoring and a gain knob that has several functions. The knob can be adjusted depending on your distance from the microphone. Turn it farther right or left to adjust your gain level accordingly. When turning, you'll also feel a click when the knob is at the center position. Use this as an indicator of its position when you're not looking at the back of the microphone. The gain knob is also a haptic analog mute switch, allowing you to easily mute the mic by pushing in on it. Think of this as the microphone's e-brake. When engaged, no sound will pass through it. And it's kind of like an additional safety measure beyond just simply muting your computer. When pressing the knob, you'll also hear uh, an audible click sound letting you know that you've actually muted the mic. And conversely, there is no click sound when you unmute the mic. And yes, when you press mute, you will hear the click sound in the recording. Beyond the gain knob, you get LED status indicators, which are located under the microphone where the body meets the ball joint. A blue LED indicates that the microphone is plugged in and powered on. A green LED is displayed when the computer is actively streaming audio from the microphone. And a red LED indicates that the analog circuitry of the mic is clipping. But given the high SPL of 132 dB, I was not able to make the mic clip. Earthworks also built the icon to minimize handling noise, particularly when you're trying to move the mic or adjust the position while it's plugged in. And speaking of plugging in, a micro USB to USB-A cable is included in the box. In addition, you get their integrated M2R ball adapter, allowing you to remove the mic from the included triad orbit stand and mount it on any other compatible microphone stand. Honestly, this is a great mic. Uh, Earthworks says this is the last USB mic you may need, uh, and they could be right. I think if you're in the market for a, a solid, really good sounding USB vocal microphone, uh, you've got to check out the Icon. Also stainless steel in design, the Icon Pro looks almost identical to the standard Icon USB version, except that it has an XLR connector, no headphone jack or gain knob, and no LEDs. But this is a different mic on the inside. Earthworks has essentially created a more professional cardioid condenser XLR version of the USB-powered Icon, and it's been hand-tuned with extra dynamic range and more headroom to make vocals sound even richer, fuller, and more detailed. And remember, that rise time spec I talked about earlier, 11.67 microseconds, uh, like when you wear headphones with this mic, you say things like, man, this really sounds like me. This mic actually has some of the same technology and components from some of Earthworks mics that cost over $2,000. So clearly this is aimed at professional content creators, uh, gamers at the highest level, podcasters, or really anyone who's looking for a great vocal mic that was designed to accurately capture the essence of the human voice. Like the USB version, the Pro does a great job of rejecting off-axis sound, and it has a built-in pop filter. But I found that if you're talking on this mic within about three inches or so, you really did need to use a pop filter to get rid of any of those plosives, especially words beginning with the letter P. 
And here's a quick example of me about two or three inches from the Icon Pro using a pop filter to see if we can get a little bit more of an upfront sound without those plosives. The Icon Pro also comes with the Triad Orbit M2R connector, making it easy to mount on a stand or broadcast arm of your choice, and it ships with the same soft carry pouch you get with the USB version. When it comes down to it, both the Icon and the Icon Pro do a great job of naturally capturing the human voice. That's the quality that sets great microphones apart from the rest of the competition. And that's something that you need to keep in mind if you're in the market for a new vocal mic that is going to round out your arsenal or even be sort of the flagship mic uh, in your collection. These mics also look great, which is important for some people. If you are creating content that has a video element to it, uh, it's nice to have a mic that's sharp and physically good looking in addition to the fact that it captures audio so well. And the last thing I'll say is this, while the Pro is technically a better microphone, the choice may actually come down to which is more convenient for you. Do you like the USB form factor for quick plug and play operation, or do you want that analog XLR connection that the Pro has? Either way, if you are in the market for a new vocal mic, uh, or you just want another mic to round out your arsenal, you should definitely check out Earthworks Icon and Icon Pro models. And that's it for my quick look at these mics. If you want more information on the Icon or Icon Pro, or any other gear by Earthworks, check out bhphoto.com. Once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. This is AB, and I'll see you next time.